14-year-old Veronika Vlasova, who was forcibly taken to the Russian city of Lipetsk by occupiers without her family's consent, was only returned after her mother spoke at the meeting of the UN Security Council. I don't know who influenced who, but the next day we received a signal that the Russian Federation was ready to return the girl home without any conditions. According to the Third Geneva Convention, Russians cannot take civilian hostages at all, but they still do it. Ukrainian partners help Ukraine to return children abducted by Russia. There are already 35 countries in the International Coalition for the Return of Ukrainian Children Illegally Deported by Russia. The main issue was to find international partners, those countries that will become the main ones to help us in implementing this work. The first country that agreed to become a public mediator and is now showing results in its work and is a communicator between Ukraine and the Russian Federation is Qatar. The last four groups of Ukrainian children we have returned with their help. Information about at least 285 abducted Ukrainian children has turned up in the All Russian Orphan data bank. Journalists from the Verstka and Important Stories publications were able to confirm the identity of each child and even spoke to some of them personally. The other day it became known that Financial Times journalists managed to establish the identity of four more children between 8 and 15 years old. They were taken by the Russian occupiers from Ukrainian orphanages. Three are in the Orenburg and Tula regions, while the fourth is in Crimea, occupied by Russia. Kremlin wants to give Ukrainian minors to the new families. They were added to the list for adoption on this website at the same time they changed their personal data. The crime that Russian Federation is committing is that instead of facilitating the return of children to Ukraine, it is trying to pretend to be a savior country that provides social and other assistance in accompanying these children and changing their identity to Russian. To make it more difficult to find, identify and return Ukrainian children, Russian officials changed their names and documents. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry's main directorate of intelligence has created an information portal that contains data on kidnappers of Ukrainian children. This list includes more than 200 Russian and Belarusian officials. The section contains a small profile of each currently identified participant in child abduction, links to news materials and information on the sanctions against such of them. There are also scans of documents confirming the deportation of children. Ministry of Reintegration of the Temporarily Occupied Territories of Ukraine on Telegram. The illegal deportation and forced crucifixion of Ukrainian children by Russia is part of Kremlin's genocidal policy against the Ukrainian people. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine Dmitro Kuleba said many of these children have parents waiting for them back in Ukraine, so the return of illegally deported kids remains a top priority for Ukraine. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.